So can you uh, please just mention your name and your year for the camera? I'm Chelsea Bennett from class of 2011. Okay, and what did you bring with you today? I brought my Hurricane Relief Team shirt from 2009. Um, it was HRT 12. I also went on 14 and 15, so this is my first of three trips to New Orleans. Wow. Yep. <laughs> How was that? Oh, it was great. Uh, I love the city. Can't wait to go back. Um, but going on the first trip really kind of solidified for me how much volunteering means to me. I did a lot before college, went on this trip, and then continued to do some after college. So how old is that shirt? 2009. May of 2009. Okay, so seven years-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Math is hard. <laughs> um, okay. Writing major. So yeah, math is hard. History major. So, um, so you got that because you went on the hurricane relief trip. Mm -hmm. um, so why did you decide to bring it today? So, I mean, it's kind of thinking back to Susquehanna and everything I was involved in so much, but the volunteering has really still stuck with me. What Five else years after were you graduation. involved in? Oh, I worked at Benny's, which is I don't know if it's still called Benny's. Uh, they just changed that this year. It's called the Hawk's Nest okay. now, I think. Well, yeah, I worked at Benny's. I was in the Susquehanna Dance Corps for all four years. And um, what else did I do? That's it. I did a lot of volunteering. Um, did, did you join APO at all? Like anything with APO? Nope. Okay. No. I was just curious. You mentioned like volunteering. <laughs> I so. didn't have time for anything else. It was class and then work and then dance and then it's already 11 o'clock at night. I understand that one. <laughs> so, um, tell me about like some of your other experiences at SU. Just where I don't know where to. Um, Benny's was pretty big for me. Working there, just getting to know, seeing it from a whole other side. Um, right. So like everybody would come up to me on campus and be like, I kind of know you. Where did I know? I'm like, yeah, I gave you dinner last night. Um, here's your fries. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but just getting to know the employees there too and they're kind of some of the people I've stayed in touch with more than some of my classmates which is kind of crazy but I, I really enjoyed working there it was kind of my first real job um, even though it's kind of not a real job but right. it was just before then just oh here's a little summer thing for two hours and here's something else and but I mean that was a pretty cool experience working there getting my feet wet with learning all that and then after I graduated, I became an AmeriCorps VISTA, again, volunteering, but I also went and worked with the Campus Kitchen at East Carolina University. Okay. Um, so we took recovered food and then gave it to local um, charities and kids, so they repurposed it, but I was kind of hands off. I had to just be over the students and be like, but I want to get my hands dirty. I want to do everything with the food, too. Um, so yeah, it kind of really got, in me, got me into that. and then, um, well, when I applied to AmeriCorps Vista, I applied to North Carolina, got placed at ECU, and I'm still there. Wow. in Greenville, North Carolina. So, Are yeah. you from North Carolina? Nope. Originally from Philadelphia. Okay. Came here and just decided I needed to change after school, so. <laughs> so, if you don't mind me asking, what made you choose SU? The campus. First off, um, I knew somebody who was in the writing program. I don't even know when, but friend of the family and just said, you know, I really wasn't looking to go three hours outside of Philadelphia. I was only trying to stay about an hour and a half, but mm -hmm. he's like, just go, look at the campus, great writing program, came here and then applied early decision. <laughs> I was like, nope, done, not looking anywhere else, I'm sold. <laughs> right. Um, so you said you were in dance court. Um, how was that? Like, how was that back then? Uh, we kind of went through a little rough patch, but it was all pretty good. Um, I know with the dance team, we started my freshman year. Um, they had already done it two or three years, something like that. And um, everybody who tried out was a freshman. We had one senior still on the team. And wow. so, yeah, it was a whole new thing. So that was a whole group of girls that got together. And then we just all stayed dancing. Some of us didn't stay with the team. Some of us just stayed in the core instead. Um, but moved up through that, was on the executive board for two years there, taught a couple classes, which I never taught dance before. I'd just been taking it since I was four years old. Right. What kind of dance did you? I was tap, jazz, and hip hop. Was, wow. Yeah. So you see where that time goes. Yes. It was 12 to 14 hours a week of dance. Time? What's time? <laughs> yeah. 
So that's, there's no no other time for anything. That's fantastic. <laughs> Class, work, dance. Oh, look, 11 o'clock. Yes. Um, so how did you like the creative writing program at SU? I loved it. I loved working with, you know, Carla Kelsey and Gary Fink and Tom Bailey. Just all of them were really great um, guidances throughout all four years. And it's so hard when you're not around a writing group to continue writing, but just I've recently gone back and read a bunch of their stuff just to kind of get myself back into writing more frequently. Um, That's wonderful. Um, do you have any stories from your time here that you'd like to share? Oh, I'm sure I could talk for hours about stories. <laughs> um, I don't know, really, outside of what I've already said. Unless you prompt me with a question. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about your first trip to Louisiana? Sure. Um, so we went after graduation, I believe, or after commencement happened that year. So it was middle of May. It was very hot. Um, we went and we did, the house was already up and we were just kind of doing some of the interior stuff. Um, my mom was actually lucky enough to kind of go with us. She was out of work at that time and they needed another adult person, even though we were all adults, but they needed somebody else. Chaperone. <laughs> yeah, chaperone. Um, so it was really great for me to experience that with her. Since she's only just seen me doing the volunteering and seen me afterwards, she hasn't actually participated with it. Um, but we had such a great group of students and adults there. Um, what do we do? We put up the recycled jeans as their insulation, okay. which was really cool. Never heard of that before. Yeah. Um, we did a lot of painting. We did a lot of interior stuff, like I said. And then the other two times I went, I felt like I was going backwards in time. So I went from the interior of the house to help putting up the siding outside to help putting on the roof my third time there. And I was like, this is going backwards. Like, yeah. The roof was already there the first time I went. But so every time I went, I got to do something a little different, learn something. Um, it, was a, it was a lot of fun and a lot of interesting times after um, our volunteering. And one night we went to, I think it's called Rock and Bowl. Mm -hmm. And they had a live local band there. and. We all just kind of hung out, listened to Cajun music, which none of us obviously were huge fans to begin with, but leaving there, we were like, um, this is great, this is amazing, and we had such a, we had such a fun time, learned some dancing from an old man who just kind of grabbed us out of the crowd and was like, <laughs> I'm going to swing you around and throw you and learn this, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I happened to be the first one that he pulled, and then he pulled like three other girls out of our group, and I was like, wow, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> That's really fun. Yeah. Uh, do you, like, while you were here, did you feel that SU really, like, helped you embody your dedication to service? Like, oh, yes. Okay. That's Very much so, especially through the trips. And um, I was involved with the disaster response team, which evolved out of the HRT um, before me. So we did a trip to Atlanta, just the five of us, I think. Um, which was also kind of fun, but I was involved in planning that and setting up the volunteering in Atlanta and like I said, and then I just, after I graduated, went to AmeriCorps Vista, and, which is Volunteer and Service to America. Um, kind of the Domestic Peace Corps is the best way to describe it. Okay. But yeah, let it, and then I've still been volunteering with the Humane Society in Greenville, North Carolina, and try to do what I can with what little time I have now, too. Right. <laughs> Um, how is this your first time coming back to SU since you graduated? Yes. Because it's your fifth re or your five year reunion, five year right? Five year reunion, yeah. How, how do you feel about that? <laughs> it's changed um, in a good way. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. Haven't really been to explore everything too much yet. Kind of just got here. But okay. it's, it's always exciting to just see the orange and maroon right. everywhere. Even when I wear it back home, people are like, what are you doing? Are you Virginia Tech? I'm like, mm, no, you've never heard of my school. It's small in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania, but it's like I still represent the orange and maroon everywhere I go. <laughs>